1100 yards. Bridge 1100 yards, sir. Bearing! Sonar bridge, bearing. Bearing starboard 01. Bearing starboard 01. Talker helmets. This question comes up a lot. What's with the giant helmets that show up in some World War II naval movies that look like something out of Spaceballs? What? You went over my helmet? Well, the answer is going to be pretty short. The U.S. Navy Mark II Talker helmet was specially designed for sailors tasked with transmitting orders, sometimes called talkers. Communication was often done by sound-powered telephone, which is a communication device that allows sailors to talk with each other without the use of external power, making them a very reliable communication tool on a ship. These phones are simply powered by the sound pressure of your voice. Speaking in a strong, clear voice generates enough current to carry the sound to other phones on the circuit. This is not a lot different than old cup-and-string technology. When sound waves hit one of the diaphragms, it vibrates. The vibrations travel along the string to the other diaphragm, which reproduces the sound. Reliable communication is arguably the most important thing on any ship. A ship is really a complex machine requiring everyone to work together. A World War II battleship needed almost 3,000 men to run efficiently. Keeping sailors safe while they relayed information was important. So these large helmets were designed to keep the talkers safe without interfering with their equipment. They were worn on the deck or bridge while in combat. The Mark II was only developed in 1942, so it's unlikely they'd be in the Atlantic in early 1942 as shown in the movie Greyhound. Some talkers may have also taken to wearing the helmet backwards. It's interesting to see this being worn this way in the training video. He then passes the word to the skipper that all stations report manned and ready. No, 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 go past this, past this part. In fact, never play this again. Talker helmets were most commonly seen worn by one member of a deck gun crew who would be receiving and transmitting information for the gun. The helmet is usable wearing a gas mask and binoculars and even offers some greater protection for the neck and shoulders. Talker helmets have their own style of liner, made from rubber with space for headphones. They also have a chin strap similar to what you'd see on a paratrooper helmet. The helmet had a width of 82.6 centimeters, almost a foot wide at 11 and a quarter inches. Everybody got that? When will the princess be married? This basic design stayed with the U.S. Navy until the 1980s. This is a modern Mark IV talker helmet. You want to know something? It gives me goose pimples just to be part of it. All right, I'm Johnny reminding you to wear your helmet the right way forward. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a nice rest of your day. He then passes the word to the skipper that all stations report manned and ready.